okay. All right. Guitar questions. Questions about guitar, guitar playing, and instruments and stuff. All right. All right. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. How do I make my tone? And if I'm going to tell you guys how to make tone, tone is in the hands, my friends. Stop trying to f get the the periphery tone or the John Petrucci tone. Like, yes, you. It, it's good to have amps that are clean and stuff. And, and but like so many people like that, that ask me these questions are always just like, man, I really want to sound like this guitarist. And then, uh, sure enough, I have like an axe effect where I can literally like put them in front of a tone that's like tone match to them. And they're like, why does it still sound like me? It's like, because so much of your tone is in your hands. People don't realize that. They say, oh, it's all distorted and it's it's just whatever. Like, uh, you can't hear it through the, yes, you can. Your legato and the way that you pull off notes and the way you pick notes, it's all super important. It's stuff that I'm working on. I'm not even, I'm not very happy with my tone. Uh, I, I mean, I am, I'm very happy with my tones now, but I know a lot of the things that I don't like about my tones are more about my about how I'm playing. I go about making tones by just uh, listening to tones that I like, uh, comparing, contrasting, reading up the kind of amps people use, and try to come to uh, some halfway point between all of the tones I like. And I don't recommend that way. I think what you should do is find the tone that you like, try to replicate it almost as much as you can, because again, your playing is gonna change that a lot, and you're still gonna sound like yourself. So I would, I would highly recommend doing stuff like that. Tips for beginners. If you're a beginner guitarist, I highly recommend starting very, very small. Learn how to read tabs, first of all. Um, that's a, It's a pretty easy thing to learn for anybody. And try to learn easy songs. Don't jump in and try to learn like super crazy metal songs. Uh, if you like bands like Lamb of God, they have easier songs to play, like Omerta and stuff. Like that's a good song. If you like punk music, dev learn some Green Day. G dude, I started on Green Day and I'm so happy I did. If you want to learn solos and stuff, there are, you know, learn Sweet Child of Mine. That has some some trouble spots, but most of that solo is pretty pretty inoffensive. Learn your scales, uh, learn, learn your basic chords, learn, learn the movable chords, major and minor scales. Don't worry about modes, but learn those eventually. Man, that's a big question. I teach guitar, so that's like, it's like, how do I start? It's like, <laughs> when did I start playing guitar? I started playing guitar when I was 14 years old. Uh, that would have been 2004, 2003, uh, something like that. Uh, and yeah, um, that's my story. Why did I start guitar? Uh, so I, I, I mentioned this in my in my Drop My Life video. My first guitar was actually a gift from my now late step grandmother. I, I just it was something that I was interested in because I really liked metal. I really liked rock. I was like, all right, let's see if let's see if I could I could do this and I could play this. And uh, I really uh, went hard on it. Um, I started. I really wanted to play guitar like some of the people that I, I listened to, Sinister Gates and uh, the guys from like Streetlight Manifesto and stuff like that. That's why I started. Motivation when I started, what, what kept me going? Um, it was just, I wasn't a very cool kid in school. <laughs> uh, I was I was bullied a good deal. I didn't have too many friends. Um, but when I started playing music, it started, I, I started feeling good at it. So what kind of motivated me to keep going is being able to play songs that people wanted to hear and then getting better and being able to impress people, you know? I really wanted to be an impressive guitarist, but I also really wanted to be able to to play the emotionally driven songs that I wanted to. I really like the soft songs from like Rise, Rise Against and stuff, um, you know, like the acoustic stuff. So that really drove me to, uh, cause I started on acoustic guitar. I didn't, I didn't start on an electric guitar. How do you get endorsed? Uh, endorsements are hard, man. Um, endorsements are a relationship between the artist and the business and there needs to be a mutual thing. I think a lot of people go into trying to get endorsements like, it's like this next step. It's like this this trophy in your case. But I mean, like, it really needs to be something that you're, you know, like a company that you're passionate about. I've been using Ernie Ball strings my whole life. I've been using Schecter guitar, guitars my whole life. And I'm super proud. I would not go for a Jackson endorsement because one, I don't really like Jackson guitars. And two, they would know that because they would look at my content and know I never play Jackson. And to them and, and to them and businesses, I, I guarantee you, they see it as just like, they don't wanna have a business relationship with us. They just want me to, they, they just want us to, to, to put on their on their thing. Like, what is what is that doing for us? It's not easy getting an endorsement. They, they, want, they want you to have a following. They want you to have something that they want. It's a trait, you know? It's, it's tough, man. You, you, you can make an entire video on how to get endorsed. Um, I think I actually Fluff did. Fluff did a video on that. Besides guitars, basses, and uh, your own dick, what other instruments have you ever played? Nice. Uh, I, I play most of the instruments that I know how to play on in my videos. I play ocarina, I play a little bit of cello, I'm not very good. I play a little piano, I'm not very good. Xylophone, uh, I don't know. There's so many things that I just kind of know how to noodle on, I wouldn't really say I'm very good at, but uh, yeah. I would love to learn how to play cello better. I'd love to learn to play violin someday. Woodwinds, 
Uh, I'd love to learn to play flute. There's, I, I don't know. I don't know what. I, uh, oh, I would love to learn to play trombone. I really want to learn how to play trombone someday. That would be sick. How many guitars do I own? I think I own ten right now, and I, that sounds excessive because uh, it is. I don't need ten guitars, but I, I still have all the guitars except that bass I used to use in my videos, like way back. The Rogue, I sold that one, but I have every other guitar that I've ever owned. Oh, 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 boy. How did you learn to play so many different instruments? Well, I mean, like, I feel like with music, um, everything's kind of based off these rules, right? The Western music rules of scales and, um, you know, uh, you have 12 notes and, you know, all this stuff. So once you learn one instrument, it becomes easier to learn other instruments uh, some of the time. I had a much easier time learning ocarina than I did, like, cello or something. But a lot of what I'll do is I'll, if there's an instrument that I really want to learn, I will uh, try to challenge myself to make it sound good for a video. And that actually really pushes me because I know people are going to watch that. I have an audience that, that, that are going to watch that. So, so that really pushes me to try to be as proficient as it is as I can and man cello is a cello is a beast I, I still am very very like nervous about ever playing that in videos but I, I'd like to be better about it uh, in the future my favorite brand of guitar is Schecter yes it is uh, I from the beginning I've always liked that Schecter guitars have so have such a huge price prices on their guitars you can buy a very very de yeah, decent okay guitar at like a hundred dollars they're not super great but they play and they, they play fine play they play play they play fine I'm already getting tired. But they also have very good high-end uh, Schecter guitars. And I like the feel of them a lot more than Ibanez. I like the feel of them more than any other guitar. I do like Ernie Ball uh, guitars and stuff, um, but I do, I think I like Schecter guitars better. Um, mostly just because I've grown up on, uh, I've played like the Majesty and stuff and I really like it. Like I love the Majesty guitar. I, I, I think I prefer Schecter guitars. Um, I don't know, I could change them. Favorite guitarists, I love Sinister Gates, Robbie Krieger from The Doors, the guitarist from Lamb of God, uh, Brandon Small, Billy Joe Armstrong, Tim Armstrong. Those are from bands. Uh, some of my favorite guitarists on YouTube, Artificial Fear, CS Guitar 89, Shoddy B, Toxic Eternity. I mean, all of them are just like absolutely mind blowing. Uh, and like I would I would trade actual organs to be able to play like them. I think those are my favorites uh, And then the last uh, frequently asked question was how did I learn? I learned from a book called how to play guitar for dummies I'm not fucking kidding <laughs> When I got my guitar for that Christmas I got I got the acoustic guitar and I got a book I got that book and I read the shit out of it I, I learned all the chords and made sure I memorized them and like man shout outs to Playing guitar for dummy. <laughs> all right, now here are the specific questions. Whew, all right, all right, all right, we can do this. How hard do you like your dicks? Picks, sorry, autocorrect. Ha, uh, I, um, for rhythm guitar, I use the John Petrucci uh, Jazz 3s. Um, for leads, I just use normal Jazz 3s. I think the Jazz 3s are like 1.5 millimeter, um, and I, I'm constantly finding I wanna go thicker. Are we still talking about picks? Uh, <laughs> have you ever named any of your guitars? And if so, what did you name them? I've never named a guitar. Guitars are kind of like a tool to me. It's not really like something, I don't, you know, they're a tool for me to process my musical whatever. I don't really name them. It'd be kind of weird. It's kind of like personifying something that you constantly finger, you know? Is that not weird? How much time do you spend playing guitar per day? Man, so I've, I've been playing guitar for 12 years now. Lately, I don't I don't practice a lot. I wish I, I, wish I had more time to do drills and, and scales and stuff stuff like that, but my guitar playing is almost exclusively these days when I'm tracking for covers. So I'm usually playing like, I, I could be playing eight hours a day, you know, but it's all tracking guitars for covers and stuff like that. What was the very first guitar you ever owned? I have that, I have that, hold on. This is the first guitar that I've, I've ever owned. Uh, you guys have seen it in the background. It is a Ibanez uh, QMAM or something like that. It's garbage. It's a piece of, it's an actual piece of trash. You can see the fucking, oh Jesus, falling apart. The, actually you can't really see it, but the, the neck is so warped and, and broken and glued in and weird. There's 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 markings all over. Uh, you can't really see it, I guess, because the camera, but man, it's, it's a pretty guitar. Like the finish is really pretty. There it is. It's my first guitar ever. Should I have Ernie Ball Paradigm strings on my guitar? If you want strings that are gonna last a really long time, then yes. But no, you don't need them. With your classical guitar background, have you ever uh, played a harp guitar or considered using one in your compositions? If I had one, I'd use it. I, I mean, harp guitars are really cool. Like the ones that are like, 
Yeah, like I dude, yeah. What would you suggest I do to learn the notes on the guitar and remember them easy as well as becoming accurate and fast at playing? Learn your scales and use a metronome to learn how to play your scales really fast and cleanly. Uh, one of the most important pieces of advice I have for guitarists who are trying to um, who are trying to get better is learn the part you're learning to a metronome and start slower than you know you can play it. Figure out where you know you can play it without making any mistakes and take it 20 clicks slower and build it from there because that's just like almost just too easy. If you can if you can bring that level of too easy to the level, the speed at which you need to play it, you're gonna be so much more comfortable playing it and you're gonna actually learn more from it. I highly recommend doing that. If you have a solo that you're working on, figure out the tempo, punch it in your metronome, figure out, dial it back, is very very slow so that you know that you can you can you can play it and dial it 20 clicks slower and then build it from there play it five times if you're crazy if you're really dedicated 10 times without making a mistake and then bump up five and then bump up five and then bump up five i guarantee you you're gonna be you're gonna shred it you know but you gotta do that you gotta increment and you gotta start slow how did you have the space to store and use all of your instruments during college? Uh, I actually commuted to college. Um, I commuted to community college. Uh, I didn't really stay at a state school or dorm or anything. Yeah, uh, I just kept it at my house. Do you play every instrument alone in your covers? If it is true, how many inches it grows for every cover? <laughs> Um, I play every instrument except drums in my covers. My drums are programmed, but every other instrument, yes. It grows for every cover. You are absolutely correct. What if the <laughs> what if the world ends and there's only one guitar left? That would suck. Well, my favorite guitar amp, um, I really like the 5150. Uh, I like the 5150 Mesa Boogie uh, dual rectifier. As I'm not really a huge amp guy. Uh, I use a lot of digital amps and stuff, but uh, as far as physical amps, I really like those amps. I liked my Bogner Alchemist and it literally just broke the other month, so I'm pissed about that, but whatever. Who would you rather be sponsored by? Fender, Gibson, Ibanez, or Jackson? You, why did you put Gibson in there? Obviously Gibson. Out of the first two, Gibson. Out of the second two, Ibanez. What do you think makes a good musician? Theory? Oh. All right, I feel like a good musician is respectful of the fact of knowing that everybody is at a different point in their musical journey. I feel like a good musician can understand competitiveness um, in a way that isn't uh, destructive or fueled by jealousy and stuff. Since guitar, especially like with rock and metal and stuff, it's so easy to be fueled by wanting to be more impressive and 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 play things faster and more more technical and stuff and i think um it's important it's very important to be able to do to do the technical stuff i think what makes a good musician is somebody who knows that they are at the point where they are and they are achieving the goals that they are going out to do because every musician has a different goal right some musicians want to be impressive some musicians want if you're doing that and you want that then you're done that's your goal for me i really want to be able to evoke an emotional connection from the people who are listening to my music and i do that a lot of the time but i i continue i continuously am trying to find ways of being able to be more fluid with it, you know, and being able to do that easier, faster, and stuff like that. I think a good musician has specific goals and moves forward to reach those, and always is striving to be better. Theory is like very, I mean, yeah, theory, theory helps, but I think that's what's more important. What are your top three favorite guitar licks that you've been using uh, in improv lately? Uh, there was, there, there's like this uh, sweep tap thing that Aaron Marshall from intervals did that I've been doing a lot lately. Uh, I don't really have a guitar uh, near me to show, but I, uh, and I'd probably fuck it up because it's really late. There's that one that I do a lot. There's a descending line from uh, Technical Difficulties by Paul Gilbert that I do a lot. Mostly just scale stuff. I like I like I like building my my, my lines around scales. A lot of my solos deal with ascending scale lines, um, three uh, three frets per string kind of stuff. Have you considered changing your sound into a darker, more gentier direction? No. Who inspired you to play the guitar? My step-grandmother who, who bought me a guitar in the first place. I mean, I listened to a lot of metal and stuff and I liked guitar stuff, but that's what ultimately inspired me to start, right? Because I mean, she got me a guitar and stuff. I think as far as guitarists that inspired me to start, probably guitarists like Sing Gates and stuff. Have you tried Elixir String? And if so, how do you like them? I like them a lot on a steel string acoustic guitars. Uh, I really like Elixirs, they're good. If you had to pick one, which instrument would you like to learn most? The hurdy-gurdy. That was easy. How can I be a good guitar player? Good. <laughs> How can I be a good guitar player like you? Uh, I appreciate that. If you want to play guitar like me, know your scales. Be very diligent about being able to play cleanly. Uh, not just play all the right notes. Play all the right notes properly at the right time. 
playing playing in time and being able to stop the notes when you want to use vibratos and stuff like that. I mean, that's something that's stuff that I constantly think about for myself. What is uh, your inspiration in making video game covers and what ideal guitarist? I don't know why this ended up in guitar. Oh, I, I think it, uh, what ideal guitarist would I strive to become? Um, the best one that I can be. Uh, I take influence from a lot of guitarists, but my main goal is being like the fucking my own guitar self-actualized Buddha or Gandhi, you know, whatever. Like, like the best possible guitarist that I personally can be. That's my goal. I, I, I don't know if that's kind of a stupid answer, but that's, I mean, it's honest. What's the hardest song to learn that you've ever played? I I might I might have to say either Enemy of the Dark Lord for that cover or Through the Fire and the Flames. That was a really hard song. Actually, you know what? Through the Fire and the Flames actually wasn't that hard, and here's why. A lot of what I do for this channel is like stuff that's not designed for guitar, but that is. So in a weird way, a lot of those riffs were actually easier to play because of that, which it, it, it's kind of interesting. I don't know. I, I think it's I think it's cool. How long did it take you to become a great guitar player? Uh, a long time. I mean, I, I still don't consider myself a very great guitar player. I think I, I think I can I can hold my own at least, but I I don't know if I'm a great guitar player. But I appreciate you think that for uh, 12 years, <laughs> as long as I've been playing guitar. Do you own a mini guitar? Uh, no, but yeah, I would consider buying one. Is there a particular reason we don't hear you play cello much in your covers? Uh, it's tough. Cello is a very tough thing for me to play. I really am kind of self-conscious about it because I've never taken lessons with it, and that's an instrument that I really think that you should. You know, like you should take lessons from somebody who knows what they're doing. I was totally self-taught up to a few years on guitar until I actually went to college for it, but everything else was self-taught and that's just not an instrument that <laughs> like, yeah, so that's why I'm just self-conscious. I don't think I'm a very good cellist. Which is the ultimate tip to be able to shred like you. I think it's use a metronome. Uh, learn your scales to a metronome. Uh, learn them slower than you know you can play it. Build them up from there. Uh, learn solos you like steal little lines that you like from those solos and apply them to your own music. Uh, could you do a rundown of the rig? Didn't I answer this? Uh, I, I'd like to do another one uh, with whatever, uh, either my studio here or my studio uh, at uh, Villainous. How thick is the skin on your fingertips from playing guitar for so many years? I don't really think about that. Um, when you, after, building your calluses is one of the most, it sucks, man. I never forgot how hard it is to build your calluses for playing guitar. Eventually you just get to a point where it just doesn't really bother you. Uh, you play guitar, you will play guitar enough where it will just shred the calluses off your fingers, which I still do to this day. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know if that answers your question. <laughs> Dude, do you even gent? Yes, I do. What made you want to learn how to play guitar? Uh, I, I feel like I keep answering this one. I wanted to learn uh, how to play guitar because of my influences, like of the music I was listening to. A lot of a lot of ska and punk metal. I was listening to a lot of Avenged Sevenfold, Lamb of God, stuff like that back in like uh, mid 2000s, Kill Switch Engage and stuff like that. And so those were the things that really made me want to learn how to play guitar in the beginning. How do you tune your bass? Uh, so I use a five string bass and I tune it usually uh, standard. So that's actually uh, B, E, A, D, G. Um, sometimes I'll drop the B to an A, uh, depending on what the cover needs. Do you sometimes think that it would be cool if you would be an amazing vocalist? So I used to sing, but I don't really anymore. I wish I focused more on rock. It's tough uh, because I feel like whenever I try to record vocals for stuff, I just hate it. I cringe so hard and I would love to get maybe some formal training or something before I jump into that. Do you have any experience on drums? Not much. I'm not very good at drums. I'm actually pretty atrocious. Uh, I would like to eventually pick up like e-drums and try to learn how to play a lot better. If you can get any guitar or piece of gear, what would it be? I'm actually pretty content. Actually, the guitar that I've always wanted since day one is the, uh, the Thunder Horse, like the, uh, the Gibson uh, Death Clock Thunder Horse. I remember I almost got that instead of my Gibson Explorer back in the day, but I couldn't get it. I think it sold out or whatever, but man, it just looks so pretty. I also really like the Sinister Gates custom guitar uh, from Schecter. Uh, they did a recent one that doesn't really have the pinstripes, uh, and I really, I really want to, I really want to get that because the Sin Custom is is beautiful. And it's really good to play. Hi, what is your favorite guitar? Uh, and thank you. I think right now my favorite guitar is my Cordoba C7 classical guitar. A tie between that and. Uh, Probably uh, my Banshee. I really like my seven string um, Schecter Banshee. Do you still use your old guitars like your Gibson Explorer and the Schecter Damien? My Damien's actually in Seattle. Uh, I left it at Danny Danny B's house uh, while recording, or like one day when I went up to work on Necrodancer stuff and I still haven't gotten it back, and I should, I want to. But it's actually kind of broken, so uh, once I get it back, I have to repair it and everything. Gibson Explorer, I use for a lot of Thunderforge stuff, but not really for YouTube, no. How does one practice guitar to achieve this level of bad badass? I, you just gotta really like have specific goals in mind, man. You really gotta like, 
I think a lot of people go out and they're just like, I want to be better at guitar. And they sit down and they're like, all right, it's time to get better at guitar. Here we go. And then they don't get better because they're like, what do you what do you want to do? What do you want to get better at? Like, like my, my biggest advice, something that I always push to my students and, and what I've always pushed is having specific goals, you know? Do you, what, what do you want to be better at? And sit and focus on that. Picking fast, do you want an alternate pick, economy pick, sweep picking, being able to sight read, all of these things. You have to be specific about what you want to learn. Otherwise, you're not gonna, you're not gonna learn anything. You're just gonna sit there and probably like, open up a backing track and then just play the shit you already know and it's, you're not gonna learn anything. So that's what I would suggest. You know, write down the things you want to be better at, the specific things and focus on them, you know? Do I play an instrument? Yes. Do you prefer to play music with or without shoes on? I prefer to play music without shoes Shoes on when um, I'm tracking, but shoes on while I'm filming. Why you would choose Schecter guitar, not Ibanez guitar? Because I like Schecter guitars better than Ibanez guitars. Have you guitar skills magic fingers ever gotten you puss? Mm, yeah. Is all of your Schecter guitars that you get free from Schecter itself? I do not get free Schecter guitars. People think that I do, I don't. I get a discount for being a Schecter artist. I get a, a, a slight discount on my guitars from Schecter and I do get them from the Schecter factory, which is really nice. I, I like that. There's like that kind of like quality assurance, you know? What is your rig setup for your guitars and bass? I run everything through my Axe FX2 now. Uh, in the past I've used a Pod HD Pro and a Pod, uh, what the hell was that? X3 is what I used to use. Tips on playing bass. Uh, same thing, man. Learn bass lines that you really like. Learn them to a metronome. Learn how to play them cleanly and be able to play them to a drum beat. I mean, depending on, uh, I, I, I actually highly recommend learning um, your uh, chord tones because a lot of bass lines kind of follow uh, follow the same kind of chord tones. So learning your your one major third or minor third, fifth octave or, or your seventh and stuff. Look up how to walk bass lines. Like that's really fun. I'm not very good at it, but I really like doing it. Um, and uh, I, I think the thing that really pushed me to be a better bassist was um, I learned a bunch of Michael Jackson tunes, which at the time was just ridiculous for me to play. But I just like grinded it. And after I after I was done with that, I was like, okay, I think I got a I got a good idea on how to play bass. What brand of strings do you use on your guitars? I use Ernie Ball strings almost exclusively. Exclusively, I use Ernie Ball strings. Which song or artist first inspired you to play guitar? Um, it probably. Uh, I remember the first song that I ever learned on guitar was Point Counterpoint by Streetlight Manifesto. I was a really big ska fan before I was a metalhead. Songs like that really, I really liked chords. I've always been a chord fan. I like I like harmonies and chords and stuff. Solos and, and melodies are, are very important, but I've always been affected by chords and chord progressions more than that. And I've always I've always uh, identified that. Like that's the thing that really moved me with music. Do you worry more about guitar tone or bass tone? Uh, I worry more about guitar tone because I would consider myself more a guitarist than a bassist, but that by no means do I sacrifice my bass tone. My bass uh, chain in my mixes are is ridiculous. I have like uh, a bass tone that's run through uh, EQ compression. Uh, I like using our bass um, from uh, Waves. And then I run that through a parallel distortion, parallel compression. It all runs through this whole thing through CLA bass. Uh, like uh, I'm really, really uh, particular about my bass tone. How the hell did you get so good? I practiced a lot. What would be your dream guitar? My dream guitar? I don't know, man. Uh, I don't really think about that stuff. I, uh, you know, like I, I just do the best with what I got. My dream guitar would probably be some kind of Schecter custom, who knows, Maybe, like, you know, like I really like the Avenger models. Pickups, I like bare knuckle pickups. Actually, I really like the Schecter pickups, like their new line of pickups are phenomenal. I, I, w I, I don't know, I like my guitars, <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not really like wishing for anything more. What's your favorite musical instruments T you, you, you tie between the hurdy-gurdy? I like the, I like the hurdy-gurdy. I like that shit. How much time do I need to learn to play the guitar as well as you? You would need to practice as much as I have in the 12 years that I have or more than I have in less time or less than, you, you know what I mean? It just, it depends, man. If you wanna play guitar like me, uh, I think you're asking the wrong question. I think everybody who's asked that question is asking the wrong question. I think you should be striving to be the best guitarist that you can be uh, and use influences. If I'm your influence, learn some of the covers that I've done or the solos that I've written or, or some of the stuff I've done for Thunderforge or something like that and apply that to your own music. And that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna help you become the best musician you can be. Um, and that's gonna be more rewarding. You don't wanna be a carbon copy of somebody. You almost can't. You're always gonna have your own identity in your music if you're, I mean, if you're doing it right, right? Like, I wouldn't worry about things like that. I would worry about just taking influence from the guitarists that you like and, you know, mixing them and making you. 
you know. Do you have a treasured guitar or guitar accessory that you've had for years? So I was gonna say there was a loop pedal. Uh, the It's like the RC something from Boss. It's a loop pedal that I absolutely attribute probably 50% of my guitar proficiency from because that has like a metronome and it recorded you and you could like record other lines on top of it so not only did I learn timing but I also learned articulation you know and being able to play so that everything sounds good and stuff but I did eventually sell that this is uh the Ibanez Weeping Demon um it's a it's a wah pedal I love it to death I still use it every once in a while the reason I like it is because it's um it has so many settings on it that let you like really dial in just like a the freakish sound and I, I don't think I could ever part with it because it's it always like anytime I use it I'm always just like yeah dude like this is this is rad I like it I'm a bassist and I'm fascinated with your skills on bass thank you how do you develop your stamina since you seem to only play uh, finger style by learning stuff by like Michael Jackson and stuff and really having a love for nail and uh, and flesh for tone um, so I I have long fingernails can't, you can't really see for classical guitar and I use that uh, to my advantage for bass as well so if I really want more attacky tone, I can really kind of dig the nail into the tone, but I can also pull it back if I want a fuller, fatter tone, you know? So a lot of it is just like, a lot A lot of the time when, when I need something fast, it's a lot easier to use my nails. Um, but if I want something kind of like more open and big, uh, definitely flush. How many instruments can you play? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. Uh, play guitar, ocarina, cello, piano. Guess I sing. Your mom. Oh, nah, I don't know. Probably like six or seven. Sup fam, if you could choose one amp or amp sim to play for the rest of your life, uh, what would it be? I would probably try, uh, I like the 5150. I like the, um, the Mesa Boogie, as I said earlier. Uh, I'd probably go with 5150. It's a very clean amp. It's, well, it doesn't have clean. Mesa Boogie. I think Mesa Boogie is the most versatile. Since you're already endorsed by a checker and Ernie Ball, which company do you want to be endorsed by next? Bare Knuckle Pickups, DiMarzo? I would love to be endorsed by Bare Knuckle Pickups. That would be cool. I also like maybe more microphone companies like Audio Technica. Fucking endorse me. I use your microphones and like fucking everything. I exclusively use Sennheiser headphones. I love Sennheiser. Probably more stuff like that or VST stuff. So I would love an endorsement from um, TuneTrack. Since I've been using Tune Track since day one of my YouTube stuff, I'm not very picky. I'm not. I'm not really choosy and picky. And you know, like I'm over the moon that I'm even endorsed by Ernie Ball and Schechter. Like that is just not even something I thought I would be able to do in my lifetime. What's the best bass guitar for metal in your opinion? Uh, it depends, man. Uh, best best guitar, best bass for anything. It's all a matter of opinion. I I think the Ernie Ball uh, Stingrays are probably like some of the coolest looking and coolest sounding basses for metal. I've always been kind of influenced by like Johnny Christ from like events sevenfold and stuff and like yeah stuff like that really 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 cool how much do i have to pay you to teach me your ways i do give guitar lessons but i have a very limited number of slots my guitar lessons vary in price i, I give guitar lessons right now for about 50 dollars per hour on skype not many people really like that that format I, i'd like to move into being able to give lessons in person and stuff. I mean, if, if you're interested in taking lessons from me, you can send me an email. Um, I, my slots are really full right now, but we can work something out maybe if, if that price if that price range is good for you. Where is your old PRS SE? It's right here. I still got it. I still love it. It's fun. It's got the bare knuckle uh, aftermath in it, which I really like, and I like uh, the amount of output that it has. Again, I'm pretty exclusive with Schecter because of my sponsorship with them. Um, there's no, we don't have any deal. I can use it if I want to. Uh, but I just, I kind of prefer the Banshee over this one, but I do like this guitar, it's a good guitar. Are there any other musicians or bands that have inspired your guitar technique or were you just born with the gift from God? I was not born with my gift. I worked very hard to play guitar the way I do. I think one of the most, uh, one of the things that really pushed my skill was when I started learning stuff by Lamb of God, especially um, songs off Ashes of the Wake. Mostly the songs from my favorite album by them, which is uh, As the Palaces Burn really, really kind of pushed my, my ability and got me into a place where I, I felt like, okay, I know how to play the guitar now. Like, like, like before I was playing like really easy stuff and kind of shitty, but that was the point at which I was just like, okay, I think I can kind of say that I can play guitar. I can play riffs for people, you know? Do you ever slap the bass man? That is a fucking ancient meme, but yes, I do. What is the best guitar you have ever played that wasn't yours? Probably Rashadi B's mayonnaise. I love his mayonnaise guitar. I, I remember like, he was freaking out about mayonnaise, and I remember, uh, like, I only know about them through, like, periphery and stuff, but uh, but we found a place that actually distributes mayonnaise guitars in San Diego, and we went there, and he's just like, this can't be that good. He picked it up, he played it, and he just, like, creamed himself, and I picked it up, I'm like, it can't be that good, and yeah, I creamed myself. It's fucking good. It's fucking good. What was your first electric guitar, and do you still 
still have it. My first guitar again. There he is. I like him. Uh, I don't really play him though because uh, he, he, he kind of sucks, but still have it. What kind of pedal do you use? I don't really use pedals for my covers. I use the Ibanez Weeping Demon for my Watt pedal. Um, I use the Ernie Ball volume pedal. Um, now for, for when I use a volume pedal. I use tuner pedals. <laughs> I, I tried an overdrive pedal once and I don't really like it, but I, I have been interested in trying overdrive pedals, but again, uh, and that's for live. Like I never use pedals for like uh, YouTube stuff. It's all, it's all Axe effects now. What kind of metal do you like the most? My favorite genre of metal uh, for most of my life has been uh, melodic death metal, but lately I've been really leaning towards prog, like just just straight up progressive metal. How can you afford all of your sl slick equipment because of the support from you guys, because of Patreon, because of being partnered on YouTube and stuff, and the, you know, you guys watching my videos and sharing my videos helps me get views that, you know, helps me get money. Like, like it's like, this is my full-time job and it's, it's all thanks to, you know, my viewers and stuff. It's great. I'm making enough money to have a comfortable living and buy a guitar every once in a while. Uh, it definitely helps too that now I'm sponsored by Schecter where I get guitars at a discount. Um, and stuff like I by no means am like filthy rich you know I, I think I make about an average amount of money for somebody my age maybe even under a little bit because you know I don't really have a, a salary job or anything but um, no I, I live comfortably and I can I can buy uh, equipment every every once in a while um, depending on my budget uh, hey Jules love your work what is your opinion on Jackson guitars I hate Jackson guitars I, I hate to say it and I, I don't want to burn bridges if I ever get an opportunity with Jackson but man I Jackson guitars are just so like sharp that like i feel like i'm gonna cut myself on all, all jackson guitars like i know that they're very rigid and very like you know they're they're very uh they're very stoic guitars they're very uh i just um i, I was in a band once with a guy who used jackson i just god i hated it man i hated it i love smooth feeling guitars guitars like Schecter and prs ibanez is kind of like the middle ground i feel like between Schecter necks and uh jackson necks and that's kind of why i prefer Schecter more and obviously like I feel like there's a too much for smoothness though too because like the Majesty guitar and like the Ernie Ball guitars are almost like too smooth where I feel like just moving my finger a little bit I'm gonna just slide off the fretboard and you know just slip off stage. Woo lad! That was guitar questions.